When there is no fruit in season, the group's diet becomes more down to earth as they dig for roots and tubers. Australopithecus are masters of the varied diet. They have a number of adaptations for feeding themselves. Hands that have become nimble and dexterous since they are no longer used for walking on. Thick enamel on their teeth to help them cope with tough or dirty food. And ingenuity. Australopithecus can use basic tools like sticks to dig. They are not born with this ability. They must learn it by imitating their elders. And in Blue's case, his lessons were far from over when his mother died. He is having to learn fast, because no one else is going to feed him. There is another very important element of their diet. Meat. Out on the savanna, carrion is quick to attract scavengers. Often the Australopithecus are among them. But they have to be fast to beat the vultures. In no time at all, they are all over the zebra carcass. Once again, Hercules tries out his scare tactics to great effect. There is no clearer display of the group's hierarchy than the order they get food. Gray is used to getting the first bite, but he finds Hercules is already getting stuck in. short of a coup. Hercules returns to the carcass as top male. At first the group are unsure how to react to the change of leadership. Gray, meanwhile, nurses his pride in the background. Meat is only a small part of the Australopithecus diet, but it will become more important in the future for more human-like apes. An increase in meat eating will go hand in hand with an increase in brain size. Meat contains nutrients vital for big brains. Intelligent apes will develop special tools to get meat until eventually they'll make weapons and won't be scavengers but predators.